Hey, David here with Guide Recommended. Looking for the best fishing sunglasses. So I bought 15 pairs of sunglasses and evaluated them over the course of a month. Rated them all on a big spreadsheet. Link in the description if you want to read the full review. Next on the list is the Smith Outbacks. This is an exciting pair of glasses for the price. When I was going through the alternatives, I, I couldn't really find one, right? For this price range, $127, $130-ish, probably the best sunglasses you can get for fishing. Doesn't have all the characteristics, but the key ones it does have. You'd have to jump up another $100, get into the Costa Fantails or the Maui Gems, $150 more to get some of the qualities that I found on the Smith Outback. But let's jump into the on water testing. Then we'll come back and go through my grading. I hit on about five of the key characteristics, but my full evaluation goes through 16 items, warranty and a whole bunch of other things as well. But let's do that on water stuff now. Okay. On water evaluation. The Smiths were one of three, let me double check. They were one of four sunglasses that got a top rating for on water testing. So I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's the quality of the glass lens, glass lenses in the Outback. None in this price range have a glass lens. Along with the Chroma Pop and the tint level, to me, fantastic contrast and sight into those fish on the water that we saw. So nine for on water. UV resistance, top score of eight. I only went up to eight for that. Uh, comfort, six. The only thing I had a little knock on. Now it's got rubber nose pads, rubber ear, a little bit of a rough spot on the ears that I could feel, right? Maybe it's just the coating, you know, the anti-scratch coating on the frame, but that gave it a, had a little tick mark down on that. Fishy factors. So combining what I would think is the perfect pair of sunglasses for fishing, you know, a wide band, I give these a medium, right? For the wide band, a little bit of a hook is good. Comfort was a knockdown. Tint was a plus. Um, glass lenses, fantastic. The, the mirror and the color of these, like I said, really made those fish pop. So it got a five. Now, the way that fishy factor goes, it's like an eight if it gets all the characteristics, five if it gets some of the characteristics, three if it doesn't get them. So middle of the road, price 127 that I bought these for, value packed. So alternates, I said, uh, you could move up in price to the Fantails, the Costa Fantails. Really good choice. I think these made the top five. They're 223 bucks versus 127. And at that point, you might as well jump into what I think are the best, which is a Smith brand as well, the Smith Guides Choice, or the Maui Gym Local Kinds. Those would be the ones I'd move. But again, those are hitting 280-ish. So for $127, these guys are good glasses. So two things down in the link below, the full breakdown of all the glasses that I tested, along with the 16 factors that I evaluated on. And then if you're interested in these guys, shortcut link over to Amazon where I bought mine. Love these guys. So thanks.